Good morning. It's great to see um, everyone here today. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so thrilled to be here standing in front of you with um, Commissioner Rodney Ellis and um, Harris County Public Health Director um, Barbie Robinson uh, this morning and um, really to highlight Harris County Public Health's Black Maternal and Child Health Program. Um, and, and I really want to uh, just take a few minutes to talk about why we're here and how we're here. And um, we're here because the United States has the highest maternal mortality rate of all developed countries. And unfortunately, Harris County has the highest maternal morbidity rate among metropolitan areas in the United States. And at the same time that Houston is leading in medical research and medical care um, and innovation, we really need to be sure that we are uh, making sure that everyone has access to that care, that everyone has access to the, um, the incredible programs, and that is what Harris County Public Health is doing specifically with this program. Now, when we talk about this program in particular, studies have consistently found that um, there are higher pregnancy-related mortality risks for black women, and black mothers in Harris County are 1.4 times more likely to die during pregnancy and childbirth than anywhere else in the United States. So one of the things we know here in Texas is that there was a maternal mor mortality and morbidity review committee that submitted a report at the end of 2022 um, that showed that up to 90% of these deaths may have been preventable. So these statistics are both shameful and alarming. Some of the largest factors um, include inadequate and inaccessible care before, during, and after pregnancy. And so this gets to sort of a little bit of the, the how we're here. Um, back in March of 2021, I voted for and President Biden signed into law the American Rescue Plan Act uh, to help state and local governments provide support for their communities during the pandemic. In July of 2022, at the urging of Commissioner Ellis, um, Harris County commissioners voted to dedicate $7.7 million of those American Rescue Plan Act funds to establish this maternal and child health program here in Harris County. And I really wanna thank Commissioner Ellis for leading the way and all of our commissioners and our county judge who voted for this important program and who have brought it to life. And of course, um, thanking Harris County Public Health as well for making it a reality today. Now this program, you'll hear more about the program from Commissioner Ellis and from Director Robinson, but the program focuses on black mothers and helps eligible families navigate their parenting journey with evidence-based programs and care. And it's really important um, that we think about and celebrate how innovative Harris County is being in this moment and how we are taking this opportunity with the funds made possible under the American Rescue Plan Act to develop this program. Studies have shown that programs like this are successful and it will provide absolutely critical resources and benefits to our community. So that's why last year in the congressional appropriations process, um, I requested a little over $1.4 million in federal funding specifically for the Black Maternal and Child Health Program through the community funded project process in congressional appropriations. This process allows members of Congress to um, request funds for programs specific to their communities and on behalf of um, local governments and working in partnership with our communities to bring these funds back to our districts for projects of great importance. Um, and I, I do think it's important to note that it's important for members of Congress who know their districts best to ensure that projects of significance to their communities and in the interest of our communities and our country can be identified and funds can be appropriated to facilitate them. So um, that's why uh, the rules that the Congress established back in the 2022 appropriations process uh, made it possible to obtain funding for this critical public health model. And um, this project is a demonstration of not only um, what we can do for here in Harris County, 
but what communities across the country can do following on our lead. And I always say this, um, but I think it's really important to reiterate this point that we are really onto something here in Houston and Harris County. And we have incredibly thoughtful, innovative leaders who are working to bring new programming and resources and ideas to our community. And um, we so benefit from that leadership. And so I just really, again, um, want to show and, and thank our leaders who are standing here with me because I think this morning is a great example of that kind of leadership. What we see here is innovation and collaboration and dedication to this community. So I want to um, really just thank Commissioner Ellis, Director Robinson, um, and again, all of the, the commissioners and the county judge and everybody at Harris County Public Health who's working to make this program successful and working on other programs as well through Access Harris and others that I'm, I'm sure we'll hear more about. Um, but it really is so important to work together as partners and to be able to bring uh, these important funds here so that we can work on this absolutely vital program to protect the health of black mothers and families in our communities. And I couldn't be more proud to have worked with this incredible pair um, to make sure that we are doing that here in Harris County. So with that in mind, I will turn it over to uh, Harris County Precinct 1 Commissioner Rodney Ellis. Thank you so much, Thank Commissioner you. Ellis. Thank you, Congresswoman. I, uh, I am so grateful to the Congresswoman. She was kind enough to uh, decide she would do this on her way to the airport to get back for uh, important votes. And I appreciate Director Robinson for being as well. Congresswoman, we get to thank you again, because as you pointed out, the first round of funding for this important program, focusing on black maternal health, was as a result of your leadership and your colleagues. And then more importantly, we get to thank you a second time, because this funding is directly related to you, a request that you put in. And thirdly, I guess only I would be the one to point out, it's because your party, which happens to be my party, was in control of that budget process. And that's why you were able to target funds that only a member of Congress would know about to deal with the problem in their congressional district. So thank you three times. Uh, I appreciate everyone joining us to celebrate this important additional investment in Harris County Public Health's Black Maternal Child Health Program. This started, as the Congresswoman pointed out, with a local effort with federal money of $7.7 .7 million from county government, thanks to our federal partners, uh, thanks to the Congresswoman and all of our colleagues for making it happen. I can't think of a better investment than an additional $1.4 million focusing on a problem where the numbers are most acute. Uh, we have in, in Texas black mothers that are dying at a rate of 2.6 times higher than white mothers during childbirth. Across the county in Precinct 1, we're working to combat one of the highest rates of maternal mortality in the United States. My precinct is home to some of the top tier research institutions and the largest medical center, not just in Texas, but in the world. Yet, we have higher maternal mortality rates compared to the rest of the county and the rest of the country. Only three counties really have this acute problem. And Barbie Robinson is going to talk about it even more than, than I can. If we can get the rates down in three counties, we can end up with those numbers in the black community being on par with the rest of the country. There's no reason black mothers should not be going home from the hospital with their families after giving birth to a child. We can do better. And yet, interpersonal and structural racism, in part, caused delays in, diagno in di diagnosis and maternal health complications. Racism is indeed a public health crisis. It's the root cause of poverty, economic inequality, and health inequities. Today, we're attacking those inequalities. This program will uh, focus on 300 families with community health workers to provide prenatal and postpartum care access, as well as connecting participants to vital services. It was developed by the person who is to my left. Over a two-year period, when I got to Commissioner's Court, a number of our local philanthropic organizations were focusing on maternal health. 
And the number that was just alarming, scary to all of us was the number for black women in particular. I think that local governments working with our federal partners have to do as much as we can in part to make up for the lack of access to care in Texas in particular because of the ban on abortion. I want to thank everyone uh, at this department who has worked on it. In particular, I appreciate Barbie Robinson, whose focus since she got to Harris County has been on removing inequities wherever they exist. This problem is most acute with black mothers, but she's also focusing on the problem for Hispanic, South Asians, white women, everyone. But she also has enough sense to focus where the problem is most acute. We're looking to have her, and I appreciate being uh, given the opportunity to bring up Director Barbara Robbins. Uh, good morning, everyone. It is really an honor to be here. It is so exciting to celebrate uh, the advocacy and investments um, that Congresswoman Fletcher and Commissioner Ellis um, have brought to Harris County. Harris County, um, the county itself, uh, did not have maternal child and adolescent health programming, which is startling given that we are the third largest county in the United States. And through their leadership and advocacy, uh, we've been able to make investments to create uh, maternal child and adolescent health programming, which we know is so critical and vital to um, improving the health and well-being of women, uh, babies, um, children, adolescents, et cetera. We're eager and excited to implement our black maternal health programming. Uh, as, as mentioned already, the statistics are staggering. Um, if, if three counties, as Commissioner Ellis mentioned, uh, Cook County, which is uh, the Chicago, Illinois area, Wayne County, which is the, the Detroit area of Michigan, and Harris County were able to reduce black infant mortality rates by just 9%, the entire country would achieve parity and equity um, for um, more infant mortality. And so we're eager to implement the program and do our part uh, to reduce uh, black infants and black maternal mortality here in the county. Uh, the programs that we're implementing, as Commissioner Ellis mentioned, are for 300 um, uh, birthing persons uh, to participate in programming from home visiting to also an intensive wraparound model of care through the Access Initiative. And we're so grateful for Cong Congresswoman's investments, again, uh, bringing resources for the Access Harris County Initiative to bear for this population and other vulnerable populations in need of services. And so through this program, uh, we're hoping to uh, empower black moms, as Commissioner Ellis mentioned. Um, other women also may participate in the program. Um, we are focusing on black maternal health because that is the crisis in our county. Having said that, uh, again, the program is open to any and all women uh, with a focus on black maternal health. And what we're hoping to do is help empower those women to advocate, uh, to educate them uh, through um, black maternal bill of rights or maternal bill of rights that, rights that we're developing to help them understand and how to navigate and advocate, advocate uh, within the uh, medical system. And so uh, it's not just those medical factors that contribute to um, the mortality rates, but it's also the social factors, it's the environmental factors um, that also contribute to that, and that's where the access program comes in, and we're able to wrap around uh, a myriad of different services to help support those moms. So I'm grateful for your leadership, for both of you, um, in providing these uh, much-needed resources for our programming. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, I have one question for the doctor. Can you talk about a little bit about more how the funds are going to be used? I know you mentioned visitation to homes. Um, it's not so much for treatment, I guess, but more for education. Yeah, so it's really working um, with uh, the whole family, right? Not just the mom, uh, but her partner, um, to help support them in healthy parenting skills, uh, how to advocate uh, nutritional services and supports, mental health services and supports. We know um, that uh, trauma, uh, as well as postpartum depression um, are major factors um, that impact the well-being of mom and baby. So we're making investments and in interventions to support them. And so um, it's teaching them great parenting skills, um, how to navigate the various health systems, social systems that they're going to need uh, through the first two years of life for their child. So, and also bringing a, a myriad of other um, services and interventions like education, like economic assistance, food assistance, et cetera, to help support them in changing their life trajectory as well. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? Okay. 
Well, thank you all so much for being here.